of our next play as The Prayer by Carla Cooper. <laughs> Pulls a 
pouty face and puts the sweater back. Penny, Lily, and Margo wander away until they are totally gone. You know, I have an amazing sweater here that would go great with that scarf you're wearing. I like how you put yourself together. At least today. I don't know how you are other days, but today you did well. Elise is still rooted, staring at this boy. He watches her for a few seconds. Do you talk? <laughs> or maybe I should be asking you if you read lips. Or speak the language. I'm not deaf. Or foreign. Well then, in English. Hi there. Hi there. Out of nervousness, Elise looks at the clothes. And she starts handling them as if she is falling in love with them. An expression of adoration shows on her face. David is watching her. You like clothes? I love clothes. And God. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Why did I just say that? Why couldn't I have just said the thing about clothes? I must be bound for a nunnery or the Episcopal <coughs> privileges. I just need a boyfriend or one who realizes that I am not insane. Why do I always have to show the crazy part? What is it within me that causes that side to come tap dancing out of the recesses of my mind to go stomping across the stage of normalcy? Am I trying to warn them? Why don't I just buy a fashionable yet comfy t-shirt that announces it to them in bold, bright print right from the start? I, um, I'm not sure why I said that. So sorry. Um, why would you be sorry? That's like me apologizing for who I am. And I'm not going to do that. Acceptance can only lead to peace. And peace is a beautiful thing. Why would you have to apologize for who you are? You're gorgeous, and in many cultures that is highly valued. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I can't seem to help my own mouth keep shut. It's like I have no control whatsoever. Your friends seem to have gone off and left you. My friends don't really have much acceptance of who I am. That does not lead to peace for me. They leave me on a regular basis. Sometimes I wonder if it's done on purpose, but other times I think they really have no idea that I'm not there with them. Once I time them to see how long it would take them to discover that I was gone, but after three hours I thought I'd better just stop waiting and say. I wouldn't call that a friendship. More like really crappy acquaintances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see this dress? I want you to try it on for me. I would like to sketch you and change it up a bit. Maybe, maybe see what I can come up with. Are you up for it? Are you sure your boss will work? I'm off in five minutes. I do this kind of thing all the time. They're, they're used to be here, or at least it doesn't seem to bother anyone. Hand it over. David hands her the dress and she makes her way back to the dressing rooms. And her leave David's boyfriend. David. Uh, not quite. I think I found myself a model. She seems really into the clothes, and I think she's going to be a huge asset to me. You mean you are putting me off for some female? It's not like that, and you know it. I love you. Now, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go get an old boyfriend beyond me. It's <clears throat> telling me what to do. Okay, I know this is your all right, I'll be at your place, 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be beautiful on you. You wear it so well. After the sketch session, do you want to wander with me and see what else people find? Of course, it's a date. Mm, well, actually, not quite a date. I, I have a boyfriend. He wouldn't be too happy about not having a date. Uh, it would really throw him if that date also had to be a female. A boyfriend? Oh, yeah, totally. I don't know how I came to the conclusion that you were straight. Darned assumptions, right? Dear God. <laughs> are you kidding me? I get to that you were sending me the sign that I had been blessed with style. I saw that you put him here to let me know that much. But he isn't exactly boyfriend.
different material, since there seems to be a huge roadblock here. <laughs> Unless you are somehow planning on some freakish miracle and making me a boy. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't need that equipment. No offense. David calls to her, holds up another dress, and points between her and the dress. 